Hello, and thank you for watching. Here is a fun and simple cupcake design for St. Patrick's Day with some fun and sparkly fondant toppers that I'm excited to share with you. This is my vanilla buttercream recipe, which you can find on my website and on my channel here. I've added green gel coloring to it and allowed it time to saturate so it's a very deep green. I'll be using the 1M tip to pipe these cupcakes, but any open star tip will have a similar effect. And to pipe a simple flat rosette swirl, start in the center of the cupcake, squeeze to anchor the buttercream to the cupcake, maintain an even pressure while spiraling around. Once the cupcake is covered, taper off your pressure toward the end. I'll be adding a little sparkle to these using Glamour Edible Luxe Glitter Dust by Sweets and Treats Boutique. This is the gold I've chosen for the fondant topper, so everything coordinates as you'll see later. And the sprinkle mix I've chosen for these is called Emerald Isle, also by Sweets and Treats Boutique. It has a great mix of greens and golds. Adding the sprinkles while your buttercream is still soft helps them stick better and keep where you place them. Here is what they look like before adding the toppers. Check out the sparkle. You can find my easy fondant recipes both on my channel here and on my website. I have a regular and a chocolate recipe. I'm rolling it out with little cornstarch to avoid sticking and using the Happy St. Patrick's Day embossing stamp from my shop. We'll dust these in the same gold glamour luxe glitter dust as we did before. I like this shiny green edible paint by Evil Cake Genius and I'll use this to paint in the text with a very fine brush. After it was left to dry overnight, here's what it looks like. Next we'll make a few shamrocks for the other cupcakes with the four leaf clover cutter set from my shop as well. And these I dusted with the Emerald Edible Luxe Glitter Dust. Once these were dry and hardened, I added the tiny ones to my St. Patrick's Day toppers. Then we'll just add each of these on our cupcakes. You can add fondant toppers to buttercream cupcakes when the buttercream is soft or when they've been chilled and set in the fridge. Either way works just fine. And here's what they look like. Thank you so much for watching.